The, the question is, uh, what do I say to people who uh, claim to be good people but uh, are not Christians, okay? Um, so in the debate between Christians and, say, scientific naturalists, uh, there has been a tendency for the atheist or the scientific naturalist to uh, argue the fact that some of the atheists they know are better people than some of the religious folks they know, okay? That's a mischaracterization of the issue. <laughs> um, it's perfectly true that one can be a very, very good person and yet not believe in God. It's, it's also true that somebody can profess to be a follower of Christ and not be such a good person. But all of that is tangential or, or what a logician would call a red herring to the core issue of is there a big L lawgiver that grounds moral discussion or is there not? And it, it turns out that um, it's a real difficult argument for the atheist to make. That it's much easier to claim that there is no universal set of right and wrong than it is to claim that there is and yet ground it somewhere other than in God. Okay? But, but because it's such a difficulty for atheists to explain why there is right and wrong without reference to God, they tend to argue instead that they can be a very good person in spite of the fact that they don't believe in God. It also turns out that um, historically, while there have been many bad things done in the name of Christianity, that is by people professing to be Christians who are arguably not really following the teachings of Jesus, things like the Crusades and, and slavery and witch hunts and things like that, it turns out that the great, great atrocities against humankind in terms of, of number and, and gruesomeness, all trace to folks who really did believe that there was no holy judge awaiting them at the judgment. So the regimes of Lenin and Stalin and Mao are responsible for the killing of hundreds of millions of people. Even Hitler pales in comparison to those guys. And they started from a belief in God's non-existence. So as the Russian Christian writer Dostoevsky had it through one of his characters in the Brothers Karamazov, if God doesn't exist, all things are permissible. And when taken to its logical conclusion, as, as done by Lenin and Stalin and Mao and Pol Pot, uh, it does really allow for uh, a level of barbarity against humanity that's unprecedented um, in the sorts of things that the Christians are held to blame for. Uh, so, so in response to the, the neighbor of yours who says, I'm a perfectly good person even though I don't believe in God, um, I guess my, my first response would say, that's great that you're a nice person, you're to be applauded for that. But the real issue is, does God exist? And, and whether you're a nice person or not doesn't have any bearing on the truth or falsehood of the existence of a creator God who might have the authority to say whether you've been good enough. <laughs>